Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and today I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Taurus. If Taurus is your solar, lunar, ascendant, slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Let's get started. All right. And so your card for this reading is the three of discs, which has everything to do with works. And we'll see. What do these tea leaves have to say? Okay. So... The first thing that I'm really noticing here is we have uh, a person who is leading a horse. Okay, you can see there's the person and their hands kind of on the lead there. And so I feel that you are in a position of leadership in whatever work you are doing. Maybe this is a creative project. Maybe this is um, within your your career, your uh, actual job, volunteer work, maybe this is the household, whatever it is, you are in a position of decision making. And not only that, kind of leading the process, really getting people going, motivated, overseeing all of it. Okay. And, you know, I think that this is actually a really natural position for you. I think that you're really good at communicating. You're really good at um, getting people going. Um, you have a, uh, a keen eye um, for details and um, the, abil the ability to really just um, see what needs to be done and speak it into um, manifestation. <laughs> you know how to talk to people. Um, and so, uh, this is a wonderful time for you. I think that there is advancement in the workplace, um, advancement in your position, whatever you are doing. Um, if this is like a creative project, I think that you are really good at getting people involved, figuring out how you're doing, how you do things, how you get them done. Um, you know, whatever it is, there's a lot that goes into whatever your medium is, right? Um, but the whole process of creating and then releasing something. So, you know, I think that this is really um, a very blessed project and blessed time for you. We also have, as you can see up close, a little heart there. So I really think that this is kind of, um, you know, there's a, a sense of pride and passion here as well. I think that you really feel good about what you're doing. Um, I think you also, it's like something that maybe you humble brag about a little bit. You like to bring it up and talk to your people about it. And, um, you know, I think it just, uh, overall, there's kind of a glow to you. I think that your family probably is really impressed by the situation that you have gotten yourself into, the position, and just happy to see you uh, really being successful in your own way. So that is wonderful. Now... We have a person playing some kind of instrument. It looks like maybe a, I don't know. I'm thinking of like a cello. I thought a violin, but I don't think it's a violin. I think like a cello. Um, and, and I see a person kind of sitting here um, watching. And so I, I almost wonder if this is literally... Um, that you'll be going to some kind of music event or maybe there is kind of the draw to um, to go out and see some kind of art or music. Uh, I think that this is uh, something that could be really beneficial to you. Um, maybe just at home listening to some music, but wh wherever and however, uh, if you have not been indulging in your music listening too, um, I think that you should. 
Uh, I think that this is something that is really empowering to your creativity and something that really kind of sets the tone and atmosphere for you. Um, I, you know, I know that like sometimes we get so busy and we don't even think about, oh, I want to, you know, put some music on, play the radio, whatever. Um, but you know, I think it is important, especially if you are a person that enjoys um, that frequency of sound kind of flowing through your space or going to a place where there's an abundance of it. Um, it's very immersive. Um, and it really does change just how you're feeling, how you're thinking, um, you know. And I, and I am really, I love... I love music. I listen to it every day. You know, sometimes when I'm not feeling good, I don't or if I'm too busy or whatever. But um, I would say every almost every day there's music playing in my home. And um, it definitely is something that brings energies, uh, intelligences. It is good for clearing out um, stagnant feelings, stagnant emotions, getting you out of the cycles or loops of thinking, and also really helps transport you depending on, you know, what you're listening to and, um, how involved you are with listening to it. So, um, definitely a movement towards, uh, some kind of music and the music experience there. Okay, so we have a person here kind of in a large dress or some kind of robe. And I see them um, kind of holding on to a bag of some kind. Uh, and I almost kind of, I almost kind of envision you out on a walk or, uh, you know, maybe you've been at the grocery store, um, something where you're kind of, there's a sense of walking and daydreaming, um, kind of, uh, just going over the things, um, the feelings, impressions, daydreaming a little bit. Um, and I think that this is another thing that will be beneficial to you getting out and doing some, um, maybe just some easy kind of, uh, stroll, go to a park, do a little walking, um, you know, walk around the neighborhood, uh, go to here. It gets very cold. So we have things like, um, going to mall. A lot of people go to malls during the cold months. Um, and the malls are pretty empty, but, um, you know, go there and walk and just, I like to, I like to walk. Walking is like definitely my chosen, um, form of intentional movement because I do, I like to really contemplate and just kind of meander in my thinking. Um, and it's easy to kind of be too busy. Uh, you'd put off the little walk after dinner or, or, uh, early morning walk to get your day going. Um, it's easy to think, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or maybe I'll go, you know, in a couple days. And the next thing you know, it's been a couple months and you haven't been out walking. So um, definitely something to kind of implement into uh, your regime of um, your regimen of <laughs> regime. <laughs> uh, I had a little um, in my one of my other readings. I just the cats were in here knocking stuff over and I just am losing it today between not feeling good. And there's just been a chaotic energy, um, just, uh, you know, things um, not moving through my mind. Clearly, I feel like my head is full of of uh sick <laughs> and i'm just not very clear-minded today so you'll have to forgive me and uh so anyways you know i need to go for a walk that's exactly what i'm gonna do here in a little i'm gonna get my daughter and we're gonna go for a walk and um so anyways yes uh i think that this is a good time to be doing that and i feel like the universe has uh, some conversations to have with you and no better time than when you are outside or in a place where you are there to intentionally walk, 
right? Or move, move your body. Okay, so um, definitely something to consider. Uh, and we have, we have two doorways. We have kind of walking over this range here, kind of hitting a plateau and we have a two as well. So, okay. So I feel like we're going through a period of, it does feel like you are, um, at times you're doing well and you get into these emotional plateaus where it's like, I feel like I should be feeling more. Um, everything is going how I want it to, how I have been working towards, but I feel just kind of flat emotionally. And, um, you know, I think that this is not an abnormal occurrence. Um, sometimes we can mistake this kind of emotional, um, just, you know, flatlining for, um, you know, being something that, oh, I should be more excited. Oh, I should be happy. Oh, I should be blissful. Well, sometimes just being content and not having the high peaks and the low lows, that's, that's a good, that's good, right? So, um, I don't think that this is a necessarily a shortcoming, bad thing or a failure of any kind. I think that there's just a sense of kind of discomfort and not feeling more. So, um, you know, I think doing things like the music, like the intentional movement, contemplation, daydreaming, these are things that will jumpstart more of that deeper feeling. Um, and give you some time to kind of, uh, have room to feel. A lot of times they think we just expect that we're going to have this wonderful, um, you know, burst of, oh, this is so wonderful and great. And I feel, you know, celebratory. Well, you know, life is so busy. There are so many, com you know, complexities and variables and stimuli that, you know, we really do have to create moments where we can feel things, um, situations and scenarios. This is not, you know, this is not, um, anything new. Um, although our life, I feel like our lives are like much more busy and crowded with things than probably in previous parts of history. But I do, you know, I will mention that like we do have, um, holidays and festivals and uh feasts and you know special times markers to celebrate for a reason it's something to get ready for it's something to look forward to it's something to build up to it's a place that is set so we can go and we can enjoy so we can go and honor so we can go and immerse ourselves in these energies so if you are feeling like, um, you know, I should be more excited about this work that I'm doing, my achievements in the work, then you should create a space, a time to go and do that, to really enjoy yourself. Okay. Um, now we also have the two doorways, doorway, doorway. So I do feel like there will be two, um, pretty, pretty obvious options, not just options, two very obvious shifts in things, not huge, but you will see, um, some kind of shift in energy and it'll happen one, two. Okay. Right in a row. Um, and I think that this is kind of the delivery into that place where you are going to be feeling more in touch with, uh, that, um, excitement. Okay. And I kind of see that, you know, we have holidays coming up. We have a lot of, a lot of people have, um, family events or community events. And I think that this might be, um, leading up into these events where you can commune with those you care about. And this will be a place where you can really kind of enjoy, uh, talking about the things that are going on in your work life, in your 
your, um, uh, you know, your aspirations, your successes, your hopes and goals and all this kind of stuff. Okay. And, uh, that will be, that will be something special. Okay. So it looks like we have, it, it looks like a, um, an astronaut, and then we have another person who is kind of walking up on, um, we have a, a little area where there are birds kind of sitting. Okay, so for the astronaut, always to me a sign of great exploration. And I think that this really is in line with everything else. You are um, in a place of truly um, exploring how you're feeling, looking into your interior, but... Um, bringing that over into your waking life. Um, I feel like there is a deepening connection between the spiritual work and the mundane work that you are doing. And um, you're finding ways to express that spiritual um, connection in all other aspects of your life. And so you are very much that astronaut going out into the universe, <laughs> going into those interior realms. And this person who is walking up on these birds sitting, uh, you know, I think that you are coming up on a place of great messaging. There uh, is a sense of kind of a spiritual download that is about to occur. And I think this has a lot to do with those um, those doorways that we were talking about. I really see you moving into, um, this place of, uh, a more dynamic emotional experience, but that is also kind of hand in hand with the spiritual, um, awakenings and knowledge. Okay. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and look here at the, um, dreamers deck from the i know collection i'm going to stop where it feels right and we will read the card together and it says i know that or i know that it is important to celebrate each win no matter how big or small i am celebrating me there we go. I love when these connect with the reading. This is this is totally yes. <laughs> It was meant to be celebrating you, celebrating your successes. I'm excited. If you want to share how you will be celebrating, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear all about it. And I'm going to go ahead and thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. If you would be so kind as to like the video, it really helps the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing so. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Other than that, if you want to leave a comment, please do. I read all of them. They mean a lot to me. I'd love to hear how you're celebrating and everything else that's going Going on with you um yeah so anyways i i love you taurus <laughs> and um i appreciate you and we will talk very soon thank you thank you thank you